Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about my laser eye surgery experience, how it all went, um, the surgery itself, also the first five healing days, um, how I felt, what I liked, what I didn't like <laughs> about those, that period. So I want to share my experience with you today. And on this channel, I'm going to talk more about this procedure. I'll tell you exactly how I did my research, why I chose the specific methods uh, over all of the other available ones. So I'll talk a lot about this on this channel. So if you're interested in this topic, then subscribe to this channel and stay with me. So let's start. The first thing uh, worth mentioning is the uh, pre-surgery period, uh, the week before the surgery itself. Um, the week before it, my doctor told me to use special uh, medication. Those were two uh, drops, eye drops. The first one uh, was the artificial tears to make sure my eyes stay hydrated all the time. Um, it's also worth mentioning that I have never had the dry eyes before in my life, but still my uh, doctor told me to use those, uh, those tears, those drops, because after the procedure, it's actually really common to uh, have the dry eyes in the post-operational, like post-surgery uh, period of few months. So in order for me to make it all easy, uh, to the process to go smoother, uh, she proposed me to take those drops before the surgery. So those was the first ones. And the second uh, drops I took, those were uh, the antibacterial drops, also really useful and needed before the surgery like this. So uh, she warned me that that was really important to take those drops this week before the procedure, which I actually did. And that was the whole preparation, I would say, uh, bef like the week before. Uh, I also rec will record the video, the separate video about the whole like months before the procedure, all of the doctors I talked to, how I um, choose the specific clinic over the other ones, uh, why I decided to go with this specific surgery methods. So I will tell you in that video all the details, everything I've done months or even like two months before before the surgery well um, the day of the surgery uh, I came to my clinic at I believe 9 a.m. and uh, in the morning I had an appointment with the surgeon uh, she made some tests on my eyes and we had the final the discussion before the procedure it's also important that I tell you that I had the um, whole tests, exams of my eyes a month before the uh, surgery uh, and then also the week before the surgery. And as I uh, man just mentioned, in the morning uh, of the day of the surgery. Personally, I think it's like super professional of them to do that uh, because they tested my eyes from every corner <laughs> and everything and um, I believe that you should pay a uh, huge attention on this on how the clinic of um, uh, the clinic of yours um, goes with those tests because basically the I believe from what my surgeries doctors told me that the 90% of the success of this kind of surgery is actually the proper tests before this because um, sometimes people get side effects not because of the treatment itself, not because of the mistakes of the surgery during the procedure, but because of the mistakes um, on the stage of the, uh, of the tests. Uh, so that was the morning. After those, uh, this appointment with my surgery, I had two hours of the spare time because uh, they were testing other patients. Um, I believe there were six of us that day. And uh, so after those two hours, I came back and all of us, we had the lecture about the procedure. So they told us exactly how the surgery will go, um, what we should expect from it, or how we should react on different things, um, how we should behave, basically. 
uh, in order to help this surgeon to run this uh, this procedure. Also, personally, I think that was super cool of them because for me, uh, I am kind of person that I want. I like to control things <laughs> that I'm doing, not in a bad way. I believe, I hope, <laughs> but uh, when I take the kind, this kind of surgery, when I decide to do that um, and I trust my doctor, I trust the surgeon uh, and I need to know uh, what to expect, I need to be prepared in order for me to stay calm during the process and be focused on, um, on the things I need to do. So this, this was it. Then um, that was the lecture. I, it also surprised me a lot that during this um, during this uh, lecture, uh, lots of the people, like half of, of the patients, they didn't know anything about the procedure itself, like how it's going to go. Um, I knew almost everything, but that, by that point, they didn't and they were so surprised they asked lots of questions so i uh, totally believe it was worth it to do to do this session and then after that um they uh, told us uh, how the queue is going to look like who's going to be the first the last one so everything by timings of what we should do how where we should go and everything started uh, when it was my turn uh, first thing they have uh, they gave me the special uh, special um, robes to wear and special also special like hats I don't know how you call them but a special uniform to stay clean and uh, I had to wear this so I did then they took me to the, to the pre-surgery room let's call it this way <laughs> So it was pre-surgery room. Um, they told me to sit down and uh, close my eyes, and they treated my eyes with the special, um, the special uh, um, antibacterial solution, special antibacterial liquid. And they told me to sit down with uh, this liquid on my eyes for ten minutes. So I did, and then after those two, ten minutes, the nurse came and ask me to go to the surgery room and this is where the fun starts and so I was in there were five people in that room uh, there were two surgeons and uh, three nurses uh, when I came in they told me to lay down which I did and then um, they covered my left eye with a special uh, bandage that was the first thing they did and at this point, I think it's worth mentioning that I was doing the procedure. I, I had the procedure on both sides the same day, the same time. So they started with the right one. And so, and they covered my left eye with the bandage. And also what they did, they covered my whole face with a special tissue uh, for it to be protected. Then they used uh, the special painkiller pills like drops sorry on my uh, on my right eye and few seconds after that they used this special thing to uh, that supposed to keep my eye open and it's last like f it took them like few seconds before they did that and uh, that was enough for those drops to work because i couldn't feel they even touch my eye that was pretty amazing, <laughs> strange feeling to be honest with you, but um, that was cool. I couldn't uh, feel anything, so I was just relaxing. Ah, also about relaxation. I forgot to tell you, they gave me the special pills uh, that help you to stay calm. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to take them at the very beginning because I was super confident and uh, I didn't... Um, uh, I wasn't afraid of this procedure, but they told me to take those pills anyways because, you know, it's different before <laughs> the surgery and it's absolutely different during the process. And I believe, like right now, I believe they were right. And that's good that I took those pills. Okay, so they did that. They make my eye uh, really wide open and then they told me to look at the laser so the laser the huge panel 
came close to my uh, to my uh, face. I was really excited that this procedure didn't take uh, any special things made on my eye uh, before the uh, before the laser. So the whole work was done by the laser. So that was great. So the laser came came really close, and the surgeon told me to look straight at the green light in the middle of it. And now imagine uh, for a moment. That the only thing you can see is the black panel and you can see the green light really small one in the center of it and then suddenly the laser starts working and once it does uh, there like all of, like different lights turn on and you can see red light you can see um, I believe white uh, light so it's, it was like a lightning show. And in the middle, there was this small, really small, the smallest light over there was that green one. And uh, it was important for me to look straight at it. And my surgeon warned me that this green light is going to change form and that it's okay and that I need to follow it and to keep uh, watching. Pretty easy, but uh, for me, I tried to focus on this and even though I was calm, even though I was confident and I really trusted my surgery, I did, but when I started focusing and my mind started focusing on that green light, I will be honest with you <laughs> that I was scared. It was like a... I was scared somewhere inside um inside and i had a little bit panic attack <laughs> it was funny uh so the laser stopped the procedure i don't know maybe my surgeon did that or maybe laser itself but anyways it stopped and uh, my surgeon tried to um try to calm me down he was laughing at me he was like anastasia you're like a rabbit uh like a frightened rabbit keep calm it's all cool you're amazing it will be great uh, we're all set up we're all watching <laughs> so um, yeah so I um, I cool down and then they proceed this time it was uh, easier still I was a little bit scared uh, you know of looking at the different direction because there were so many lights that it was a lot easier to look at uh, for example red light that was huge rather than on this small green one though that was um, uh, the point like why I was scared because I thought that if I look at the different direction like different lights then everything will go bad and uh, I, I will not be able to see after the surgery <laughs> silly of me but that's uh, that's that's how it was so um, the other thing um, that I believe I should mention is after a few seconds of um, after the start, I could smell a really bad thing. So once once the laser starts working on your eyes, you can smell <laughs> how uh, how your eyes are burned. This is not the wonderful smell, but um, I um, I expected it, so that was fine. But still, it wasn't um, it wasn't comfortable <laughs> to feel this. But I also want to warn you, so that you know that this is something that is going to happen no matter uh, which kind of procedure you will choose. Right. <laughs> so they did that uh, after, like, once the laser stopped working. And it took a few seconds. Okay, for me that was quite a long time. That felt like a few minutes, but generally there was like a few seconds. And uh, once uh, it turned off, the uh, the surgeon did an amazing thing. So he treated my eyes with the cold water. And that was super cool. Oh no, uh, wait, before the cold water, it was a special, I don't know, something they have um, they have put uh, on my eyes. 
it was a red tissue on my eye uh, and I believe it helped my eyes uh, to come to cool to cool down a little bit and then uh, he treated my eyes with the cold water uh, it was really amazing when he did that because before that like before this water I couldn't see anything so I couldn't see the laser I could see that it was there but I couldn't see it and I got a little bit uh, not scared but like mm, interested in what's going to go to be next <laughs> so I couldn't see the laser but then he treated me with the cold water and actually uh, he did that for a long time I believe like one, for one minute um, they kept like pushing the cold water in my eye and because of that I felt a lot better I could feel uh, I started feeling my eye uh, it all cooled down and also I started seeing the laser that was it and uh, the last step of all of this the whole process was to put the special bandage lens um, on my eye if you know a little bit about this procedure then you know that this special bandage lens is um, a must and you need to wear it uh, from five to seven days after the procedure in the video about this specific surgery type and why I choose it I will tell you more about this but for now just follow me that that was an important and necessary step uh, this bandage lens is uh, supposed to protect uh, protect my eye, my cornea, uh, during the healing process. So, and basically he did that, and that was it. After this bandage lens was in my eye, I, he repeated the same process on my left eye. <laughs> on the left eye, that was a lot faster because I wasn't scared. I knew what I was going to expect from this procedure, so I was like super fast. And uh, when uh, when everything was done, he uh, removed the special uh, protection tissue from my face, and my surgeon asked me to sit down, which I did. But then I was a little bit surprised because he told me to open my eyes and look at him so a few seconds ago I was laying down on this table and the um, uh, the laser made a procedure in my eyes and now he wanted me to open those eyes I couldn't believe that I told him like I started joking that oh come on no 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 I will not do that please please don't <laughs> so we started joking and he was like okay Anastasia let's go let's do this open your eyes I opened them and that was one of the best moments in life I believe because for the first time in my life I could see him like I could see the person really clearly I was so shocked that I started like staring at him I was literally staring at him um, and um, this is one of the moments that you can laugh about and say that this is like the moment from the movie because I was sitting down staring at him and he was staring at me I believe to check whether everything is all right with my eyes but I was staring at him because that was super cool I could see everything his face I couldn't see this clearly even um, uh, even uh, wearing my glasses so that was a new experience for me <laughs> I was super shocked, impressed and happy happy, yes, I guess happy is the word uh, for my feelings back then uh, and that was it like he told me what to do, what not to do how to treat myself after the procedure mm, I half listened <laughs> because I was so uh, so emotional <laughs> about everything um, but uh, yeah he told me that then uh, we went back to this like to the special post post surgery room uh, where he mm, tested my eyes he made sure that the, this bandage uh, contact lens uh, is um, like properly uh, properly attached to my eye 
And so he checked this, he told me that everything was super cool, that everything was fine. And uh, he told me that I can come back to this pre-surgery room, <laughs> lots of rooms, the pre-surgery room, and I had to wait for the nurse over there for her to come pick me up and then uh, we suppose both together go um, to the entrance. And I did that. <laughs> and now, my dears, is this scary part of this movie. 